Is this 3.5? Y'all fucking sure? Yeah, 3.5-ish lobby. God, this ish is doing a lot of fucking work. Okay, so I'm guessing you're just trying to wait out the spam there. Make your jump here. Ooh, do not walk inside. Do not walk inside. Walking inside is a death trap. Because if you need, like, if you're here and you're zapping, you can always just take a step and drop. If you're here and you're dropping, then you have to step backwards, then go this way, then drop. Many more steps just by walking past this choke. Plus, you can also get trapped. Like, it's very unlikely the maze there or something, but you can get body blocked. I've seen a lot of people, like, play ball or something here and roll through this way to boop you in and then stop at this door to body block you. Um, there's a lot of counterplay. You should honestly, if you're making this jump, try to land around here. So when you bubble, it bubbles here, right? So the arc, uh, so the arc is closer to like the doorway itself. So like you, you uh, block any stuns that are coming towards you. Yeah, don't drop directly on the, on the door and then walk through. Very dangerous, very punishable. Yeah, you don't care about this high ground necessarily. Like this bridge isn't that good for you. It's more that you can't let the enemy have this bridge. The enemy have this bridge, then they can make engagements from behind you and that's very bad. So you just gotta make sure they don't have it. Yeah, this is fine. Bubble, you missed your bubble a little bit. Yeah, so this map, um, so maps work kind of differently. There are four, there's sort of like four different ways of looking at maps. There is a uh, corner to corner. Right, and that could be like, um, you know, oh, we we take this corner, and then we take this corner, and then we take this corner, and we, we push, push. There is four corners, right? Sometimes the map is kind of like a box, and you got to focus on the four corners. So, like, if there were four corners here, it'd be like one, both high ground and low ground, maybe two, high ground and low ground, three and four, right? That would be like the four corners. Kind of like your box setup um again this is not a great map for four corners this is what i call um two zones there are two important places that you need to be fighting the first one is this high ground and this one as well right high grounds and then the point itself here it's super duper important that as the attacking team you control this high ground and this high ground both high grounds are useful to you but it's also useful to them sometimes with space especially especially for like the two uh point setup right where one point might be a high ground or an important location the other one being the point itself sometimes it's more important that you the enemy don't have it you might not be able to use it but we just cannot let the enemy have this this is too strong for them so as the monkey um you need to take this high ground first and then afterwards this high ground you can use for um, pushing the cart itself so this is a two point sort of setup but because you're going so aggressive like this and just making dives willy-nilly this baptiste and um, mercy just get to chill here for free right rain healing down from above and uh, you're never going to be able to actually get kills here like even here i mean maybe here but that's her fault now you do you are able to execute but you know it could have been a lot worse like for example if um if like a soldier was up here or something or like the echo played this corner a little bit better like i don't know why the echo died or did he die from yeah like this echo's positioning actual trash if instead she's you know didn't choose to shoot at the fucking nano monkey who had bubble she shot over here and started landing sticks and you know you gotta understand it's super hard to fight that because like she has high ground she has cover she has all these different things she has like an easy flank route um she would have done way better you know she made a mistake and fucked up and that Zen is an absolute fucking badass. <laughs> you know, you don't always have badass Zens on your team. You don't always have shitty fucking Echoes to fight. You need to be, as the main tank, be the one trying to control those spaces. You can kind of gauge how healthy the horse is. Um, that's a bad primal. <laughs> they, they fucking grabbed. <laughs> you spray the ground. Um, if you get a gift, you shouldn't like question the gift or something. You should just be happy you got it. Yeah, that was a bad primal. Fortunately, it works because now the Zarya is stupid. Um, that was a bad primal because they haven't even engaged yet, and all you're really doing is delaying them. And if like the cart was like here or something, you were delayed them and they see nine, that'd be great. But uh, here, I mean, they just wait. For some reason, they grabbed, but they just wait, and then you wasted your ultimate, and now you're just shit out of. Now you're just now you just don't have an ultimate. You're just cleanly down an ult. Is this three point five? Y'all fucking sure? Oh fucking sure, these are these are like some fucking gold plat mistakes, my friend. Not you making plat mistakes. I mean the mistakes being made it in the game are just like plat level mistakes.
Uh, I'm pretty sure it very clearly says, <laughs> very clearly says 3.5. Yeah, 3.5-ish lobby. God, this ish is doing a lot of fucking work. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, um, fucking interesting. <laughs> what the fuck is this team of Don't get that Bro, what, what is this game? That was like four shit ults in a row. Your primal there grabbed this bomb and that trance. All garbage. Yeah, if um, if you guys can't watch it live, you can always watch it um, afterwards. God damn, dude. What the fuck is wrong with this game? Ish. <laughs> but if I was reviewing the Ana, I would be a lot nicer than the Ana and be talking trash about you. Yeah, that was dumb. <laughs> yeah, you don't have um, you don't have your Ana here. You're at half HP. There's like no re first off, there's no reason you should have stood on top of this in general. Like you should have just been hiding behind this card if you wanted to make progress here. No way you can fucking make this work. And then you just die with Primal. Monkey corpse lol. Tea bag. Tea bag. Um, there's a lot of situations here where it's like, how are you not dead? <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, this is another this is another questionable primal rage. See the see the bad part about this. <laughs> it was calculated. I'm just really bad at math. Like what? Ha like let's be honest. What happens if you get a six man primal rage here? You kill everyone. Knock four of them off the uh, off the uh, off the ledge over there, right? Get a bunch of them in the corner. Just absolutely pop off, right? Absolutely the coolest play of your fucking life. Then what? Then they respawn, and then you then they take another fight, and and they take another fight, and you just don't have fucking primal. Best case scenario is you just have to take another fight. Down your ultimate! If this primal worked or not, it was still a bad primal. Whether you live or not, whether you get a six man kill or not, doesn't matter. It's a bad primal because this cart's so far back. Because your team's not ready to follow up on it. Because everything about this, it's gonna still fail. Yeah, you get window out of it, but like, still. You know what I mean? Even if you win that fight, it doesn't matter because they just respawn and your cart's too far back. You gotta understand, like a lot of tank players, they'll always think about taking space. I mentioned this in my last, in, in one of my latest videos. They'll only think about taking space. Sometimes it's good to give space. Sometimes it's good just to hold your position. There's no reason to always push forward, right? We're not the fucking Robinsons over here. If you want to make an engagement, that's fine. Just make sure your team is ready for it and make sure you're actually doing something that's worth it. You know, but sometimes you just need to push the cart. Sometimes you need to just buy time, especially on defense. You just need to buy time. Um, there's no reason to always keep keep on the offensive, right? Life's all about a balance. My dad would say that all the time. I've always taken that to mean like everything in life needs to be balanced. You can't always be aggressive like this, right? Because let's be honest, you're very lucky that Hanzo just doesn't fucking kill you here. Right? This is a high charge Zarya and a fucking Ana and a um, monkey. Sorry, and a uh, Hanzo. Like, you should get slept and fucking um, naded and headshot and beamed down, and you are still pretty far off from your ultimates. You shouldn't, this shouldn't have worked. They're just bad. <laughs> Look at how fast you get bursted here, man. You can't always just go on the attack, it's, a, it's all about a balance. Life's all about a balance. And you can take that for anything, you know? Take that as anything in life. Like right there, you got tunnel vision on this kill. There's no real reason for you to go for these melee kills, like these melees. Um, melee, like weaving in melee with your primary fire doesn't actually change the amount of damage you do over time. It changes that the fact that it's burst damage. Like that melee is instantly 35 damage instead of taking a second to do 35 damage. 
but like if you were to do them back to back like just holding down the button and holding down the button and throwing melees in between they would do the exact same amount of damage or at least close enough where it doesn't matter so for you to push forward like this is actually a huge int because you're cutting your line of sight from the ana sure the ana is busy right now and probably wouldn't have healed you anyways but because you pushed forward like this getting too aggressive to tunnel visions now you're not losing los of your supports right and then you try to escape and you just don't make it you could have survived that now i don't think you would have because your auto wasn't looking at you but like you could have survived that for sure i don't know why he primal there that was a terrible fucking primal you're the only one shooting at him um yeah i mean monkey really can't peel like sure you can throw a bubble down and help people but realistically he can't peel anything like it's just not your job if you were playing a different character maybe you could but that's just not your job do what you're meant to do my friend if you're a monkey you're meant to go in go in you know just be smart about it calculate so just go in and int. Okay, you should make a move because your reaper's in position. You should make a move because your reaper's in position. You should make a move because your reaper's in position. That Zarya just bubbled. She's actually very vulnerable. Go, 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 go. Too far. Okay, you have primal though, so that's okay. Then you get slept. Please don't get bursted down again, I swear to God. If this is your like third or fourth time getting killed during primal, I'm going to cry. I think the biggest thing is you got to think about where you're landing. Right? It's not good enough to jump on a target. You gotta jump on a target in the correct position. Um, you tend to jump just like wherever the Ana is. Like uh, like here, when, when, when you jumped, I said too far because you're just too far away from one, your team, but any natural cover as well. So you made this jump and look where you land. Like let's take a, let's zoom out a little bit. Let's zoom out. Look at where you land, right, right here. If your bubble breaks, where do you go? Sure, you're gonna get like you're like 80 to primal, but I mean, 80 is a little bit low, especially if you're only zapping one target. Um, if your bubble breaks, you're kind of fucked, aren't you? Like this guy is, you know, uh, what's it called? Sonic arrowing? No. Storm arrowing your shield, it's gonna break really quickly, right? Is At least if they actually put focus fire on it. You're not gonna be able to kill this Ana in time, right? Um, what do you do? Where do you back up, right? Are you gonna like hide here or here? Or what, are you going to hide here? Are you going to get back to your the columns over here where your team are? No. You're just out in the open with nowhere to go. You, you need to think about this stuff. You can't just go in aggressive. Honestly, it probably would have been better to go for like the Hanzo or the Zarya or even the Mercy here because they're all in better locations to make the dive. Sure, the Ana's out of position. You're just standing out in the open. But like your Hanzo should deal with that, right? You should have dove somewhere closer to like here where you can zap, you can drop a bubble, delay your bubble, drop it later, then use this cover as like some sort of like shield and stuff. And then you can jump out when you need to. But here, this is just so risky, just so risky. You do get primal, <laughs> nanoed. <laughs> so we talked a little bit about this with the uh, echo gameplay, just a little bit, just a little bit, um, about when you're flying as echo, try to pick a location you're trying to go to. Don't just fly up in the air. You're sort of doing that, but your location is just whatever target you're diving, right? You got to think about your own survivability. Don't, okay, you don't bubble against the monkey, by the way, the monkey, your shield doesn't do anything against the monkey. Um, you know, we just got to be a little more calculated about this. Okay. Yeah, so this happens a lot. On second point, people get, tend to get staggered, and then you guys just lose second point. Like, you, you had no fight. There was not a single fight there. My best advice um, for second point is, re like, especially if you're in comms, just reset. I don't know why, but for some reason, Overwatch players, especially at the lower elos, but even as high as, like, Masters and GM, will, will just refuse to do nothing. Um, don't counter dive right trade back lines this is useless you're not doing anything here you're literally useless you wasted bubble you wasted leap now you can't make an engagement now they just reset for free i'm not free they use two ultimates for it but that was that's why it was so bad for you to go after that monkey like to counter engage that monkey up there because uh you never really got to make your own move right like this right here completely fucked up your tempo so much that the entire time you were on defense you're on the back foot trying to protect from this because if you had bubble and leap right now, you should have been going after the enemy backline, right? But now that you jump in when they're stable on a corner and then you just have to back up anyways and your Genji fucking dies because he committed with you, then um, you guys get absolutely rolled. 
you know? This bubble and this stuff right here isn't doing anything, right? They're on a stable location, right? They don't need to worry about you because they can just hold this position. This is holding space for them. If you're trying to take that space and they go, well, I don't give a fuck, I'm just gonna hold it, right? We're safe here, we're anchored down to like a oh, solid location. Our support's far back and you know, you guys can't put more pressure than just the monkey bubble, right? This Zen can't land discords. Um, they don't have like great LOSs and stuff for your team. Sure, maybe your tracer's in position, but it's, she's late. You know? And then you die for overextending and fighting for space you don't need. And then they just push and kill you. And then you win somehow, which is nice. But like, you shouldn't have come to this. It shouldn't have been such a close fight. Okay, here. Yeah, you don't need to bubble here. You really don't need a bubble here. High key don't need a bubble here. Like, you need your bubble and leap to make an engagement as a Winston. Like, I guess technically you don't need it if you have Primal or something, but like, you kind of need... It's like the same reason that like you need recall and a couple of your blinks. Nice deny. Cause you need to be safe, you know, you can't just make the engage and expect to live. So you dropping bubble so early just completely handicaps you. Cause now you have like 13 seconds where you just can't do anything. Same thing with recall. If you recall way too early, then you just have like, what, what is it? Like 10 seconds uh, where you just can't make hard engages. So if you bubble just to like stand there and zap things, you're not gonna do anything rest of the rest of the fight. Right? If you're gonna bubble early, like just drop a bubble, have a leap to uh, to escape. Or in this case, just go further in because you won the fight. Yeah, cooldown management very important. One of the easiest ways to throw on monkey is just uh, dropping bubble when you shouldn't have, when you don't need to, I should say. Yeah, now you just play cover and stuff. They have a Reaper too. So the better, so what you want to do is start in this position instead of down here. Cause here you can get like punished and you can drop a bubble and then have to leave. Where up here, you can maybe zap a little bit, but you can choose when to drop, when to bubble, and then choose to jump back up. Where from here, you don't get to choose when they engage, when you get to engage, they get to engage on you, right? So you're playing like a Reinhardt right now. Play like a monkey, use your mobility, right? If you can, always start on the high ground. That is a terrible leap in a terrible bubble. And are you gonna get hurt for this? I don't like your odds. Not gonna lie, this might be bad for you. No. Then you primal for no reason. Okay. And your primal gets no value. <laughs> your primal. <laughs> Homie's primaling a turret. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, man. You're gonna get hooked. Nope, never mind. And you get bashed because you walk past your shield. You jump way too late. Jump before your bubble breaks. Don't let your bubble break and then turn to jump. Like, once your shield gets to about like 200 or 100 HP, that's when you want to like start looking for your leap out. That's a terrible bubble because now your bubble's getting broken by the coon. Again, you don't need a bubble here. Why didn't you just like walk around the corner here? Again, you should be on the high grounds. There's no reason they should land that bash and hook on you like that. Yeah, you're just allowing them to do shit to you. Need to be smarter about this. But honestly, you're kind of playing like a really shitty Reinhardt. Not gonna lie, Chief. Like the way you're holding, you're taking and holding space. It's you're basically playing Rhyme. Uh, dying with primal. Cringe. <laughs> imagine, imagine you get a VOD review from a fucking contender's coach, and he just goes, ugh, cringe. <laughs> oh no, cringe. Okay, bad primal. I know you're trying to see nine, but it's not gonna be possible. No fucking way. Never mind, fuck me. So, a uh, close game. You won, but barely. Like, your team sort of saved your ass. Like, you didn't win, your team won. Feel me? Like you should have been punished way harder than you did, and you did get punished several times, but your teammates were able to bail you out. So, you know. Well close. Omega lol. Omega lol indeed. About you and how you've been treating me, and I thought Why do I love you? The house creeps as the sun hits my Outside.